So I made a decision about this rocket engine here. And that's that I'll only ever fire it once. Currently, I'm building another rocket engine that should actually produce usable thrust. Then was just a proof of concept, this one here, of if you could make a rocket engine from hardware store plumbing parts. And, well, there's a few major problems with it. First off is that all these joints are soldered. And solder melts at only a few hundred degrees. Rocket engines typically get quite a bit warmer. So in a firing, it's pretty likely that this thing will explode. Second major problem is that when building this, absolutely no math was done. Which means I could end up with overexpansion of the exhaust, underexpansion, and, well, underexpansion's a lot worse. So, it is even more likely that the nozzle portion, at least, could end up rupturing. And most important to me is that it probably wouldn't produce thrust. And if it did produce thrust, it'd be very minuscule and not usable at all. I'll put some pictures and commentary on the new rocket engine right here. So the plan with the new rocket engine I designed was to be able to 3D print all the parts and use them as molds to actually cast it out of the finished material. Now here are the 3D printed parts. You can see there's only three, there's three of them. This part here is the top, which will be the very top of the combustion chamber. This right here is the injector plate. It will have a ton of little holes drilled into it as to be able to spray and mix the fuel and oxidizer. And here's the combustion chamber and nozzle in one piece. As you can see, it's clamshell. So the plan is to cast two of these pieces and then TIG weld them together. Now the material that I plan on casting these out of will be copper. One, because it's very good with thermal conductivity, and at the moment I have absolutely no way of cooling the engine. Second of all, I happen to have a lot of scrap copper, so that should be fairly easy material to obtain. I did the calculations using the STL file and found that the finished engine will weigh around 10 pounds if it's made out of copper, which, in my opinion, is pretty good. Now, due to the semi-large nature of this engine, it is going to need a proper stand to be able to test fire it safely. So here are some pictures of the stand I'm currently working on, which will hold the engine. I'm also currently building the concrete pad, which the test stand will be bolted to. The engine will be mounted vertically so that its nozzle will point downwards. Now the exhaust of the engine will hit a plate, which will deflect it at a 45 degree angle so that it's outwards rather than directly down onto the concrete. This is to minimize damage to the concrete and also to help with not setting everything around it on fire. My plan with this engine is to test it, find out what I can make better with it, make it better, test it again, until it's as good as I can get it. At which point, I will try to build a vehicle to hold the engine and fly it. With this engine, I'd like to be able to build a sounding rocket that will have a suborbital trajectory and be able to make it past the Karaman line. Being said, I still want to fire this at least once and watch it go up in a blaze of glory. Thanks for watching. See you next time.